Sometimes when trees die, people will notice that on the branches and on the trunk that there are growths of some kind. There are different colors, different shapes of something growing all over the plant, and they wonder if that has killed the plant. They wonder what this stuff is. Well, in many cases, what you're looking at is a lichen. It's pronounced lichen in American English and lichen, rhyming with kitchen, in British English, but I'll be using the word lichen. Lichens are very, very unique organisms. They're actually a combination of several organisms growing in a mutually beneficial arrangement. 20% of the world's fungi are involved in growing lichens. Now the fungus grows in layers and it protects usually algae cells. Now those algae cells produce sugars and carbohydrates and other uh, chemicals that the fungus will use. So the algae is protected from drying out and is in it living inside the layers of the fungus and the fungus gets the benefit of the nutrition being supplied by the photosynthetic algae. Now sometimes the photosynthesis organism is actually a cyanobacteria. These are the blue-green bacteria that are, have their own photosynthetic uh, capabilities and they produce the chemicals that the fungus needs. And sometimes there's even another type of fungus, a yeast fungus, that gets involved. And so there'll be two or sometimes three different organisms all living together as a group. These fungus and algae combinations, these lichens, grow all over the world. They grow from sea level all the way up to the alpines, you know, above the tree line in mountains. They live in the Arctic, they live in the tropics, and they grow on lots of different kinds of things. They grow on rocks, they grow on tombstones, they grow on walls and, and roofs of buildings, they grow on tree trunks and tree branches. In the tropics, they'll actually even grow on a, a leaf of a plant. The only time that they cause harm to plants is when they could possibly block enough photosynthesis, photosynthesis in a leaf to prevent the leaf from photosynthesizing and, and uh, then the leaf would die and fall off. But otherwise, they do no harm. So even though this tree is dying, it's not being caused by the lichens. Lichens grow in several different patterns. The crustos group has the appearance of being a crust on a surface, whether it's a rock or a tree or a bench, like in this case, it looks like paint that's dried and it's just kind of cracking and peeling, and it's kind of tightly adhered to the surface. The folios group has the appearance of leaves. It has the uh, two-dimensional growth that peels up and is not tightly adhered to the surface and is kind of leaf-like in, in appearance. The fruticose group is tree branch kind of shaped. It is three-dimensional and the, the growths are very uh, small and not flat and wide. And a lot of times it's used in crafts like in model railroading and it's spray painted to look like little miniature trees or shrubs. In that group is the reindeer moss which grows up in the Arctic and does feed reindeer and caribou and moose and deer and other animals. And then we have the um, um, filamentous group, we have the gelatinous group, there's just a whole bunch of different kinds. Uh, one is called squamos, which is kind of halfway between the tightly adhered crustose and the leaf-like folios. So just a whole bunch of different growth patterns. And sometimes one, um, one lichen will end up looking like uh, two different kind of growth patterns depending on uh, its life cycle stage or you know, how old it is. Uh, maybe in, in the middle it looks like a crustose and along the edge it looks folios. So there's a lot of overlap in those uh, patterns. And all you have to know is that there's probably the three main ones are the crustose, the folios, and the fruticose. Watch for lichens growing on lots of different things as you take your nature walks or even going on through your landscape. You'll find them on boulders, you'll find them on trees and trunks and tree branches where they are growing and causing no harm, but they are really fascinating organisms to investigate. And this is Jeff of the Green Review. Thanks for watching.